By nature, I'm a perfectionist. I was raised to be a perfectionist, to have everything orderly and done in, in a way that feels very exacting. That can be very combining. One of the things that imperfection and working in a way that leaves a lot of the end result to chance is that the work gives back to me and hopefully gives back to the viewer. My name is Caroline Burton and I am a 2021 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. The Afghan process began several years ago. I happened to be at another residency. Residencies are a great place for discovery. And I was looking for a way to create marks that were related to the hand, but not necessarily my own hand, like with a brush. And I found a rug and I said, let me try painting on this rug and transferring that to canvas. And thus began a lot of experimentation with how to get the paint to the Afghan and get it all to kind of work. Years and years ago, my work was highly colorful. And over time, I've been much more interested in, in the forms that I'm creating and to reduce the color palette enabled me to really explore and discover form in every single color that I use black, gray, variations of white and gray, there are many colors within that color. So here, for instance, I've been spending a lot of time mixing and mixing reds and greens to make variations on grays and blacks. I grew up in like farm country where there are silos everywhere. And so for me, these harken back to that time in my life as well. The personal for me always finds its way into the work, even though I consider these pieces to be very abstract. Another thing that's in a lot of my work is not just the painting and the printing, but I do a lot of sewing. As I'm ripping the canvas to make the pieces, I collect these canvas threads and often I dye them and then I sew together the pieces, always by hand. So one of the products that I've used here that I had never used before, I didn't even know it existed, was the gloss glazing liquid, which when applied to the paint gave me more fluid ability and made it easier for me to adhere the paint to the afghan and then get it onto the canvas. That product also gave me much more working time, which I need because I'm working on these really large afghans and I don't want the paint to dry before I'm finished applying it. One of the most important things that I've gained here at the residency that I will take with me is the idea that I don't need to just work, 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 work without pausing to learn. And the technicals gave me that opportunity and fueled ideas that I was then able to bring back to the studio and employ in my work. The residency has improved my confidence in the direction of my painting. I'm usually very hesitant. Being able to explore multiple colors and use multiple media has allowed me to sort of play and work a little bit faster and be more assertive. And I think that's really gonna make a difference as I go forward. My name is Kat O'Connor and I am a 2021 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. I've been trying fluid acrylics, which I hadn't used before. Their color is very intense, even though the consistency is very different. So it works perfect for the way I work in terms of layering and building up color instead of just mixing color. I really have been amazed at the variety of ways the different lab people will use one product. Having the micaceous iron oxide turn up in a printmaking class as a texture, having it show up in a skins class as a skin, using it directly and mixing it with paint. So I've liked following one particular medium through multiple technicians' classes to see what happens with it. So this is painted on an aluminum composite panel, which I hadn't used before, but I've been working with the lab to understand how it works, and it's a lovely surface. It gives you sort of a reflected quality. I build up layers of thin acrylics, so that acrylic really kind of shines through with the material. This piece is a friend of mine in Greece, and she does triathlons. So she's a very, very good swimmer. 
and really good swimmers apparently don't make splashes. <laughs> so, so I requested that she splashed around a lot. What I loved about it was the difference between the water sort of flowing up into the sky and the, the distortions that happen because of the water reflections and ripples. This is a, a big breakthrough for me. I started with the markers on the fluid acrylic. So I put the marker tops on and then literally covered in the undercoating with the markers, which was fabulous. It's very physical because of the size. It's just a completely different experience in painting and I, I loved the physicality of it. I've been a fan of Golden Paints for a really long time and I spend a lot of time on their website. I call the tech service a lot. And now being able to put a face to a name, having had someone in your studio that you've been talking to for years and saying, you know, how do I do this? Is it possible to do this? So I think it will just make it a much more personal experience. It's such a unique residency. This is the only residency I've ever done, but it, it's so particular that it was one I felt like I'd really benefit from. I like painting from still lives because I really like working from observation. Painting from observation lends my work a lot more specificity and I think you can get more detail, more variation in the light and the depth and the color. That malleability of the forms and the colors is something that I'm really interested in pushing. My name is Marta Lee and I am a 2021 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. Here I've been able to work on 10 or 12 paintings and have all the still lives just one after another in this big space. I had access to a storage barn here with a plethora of chairs and desks and toys and books and textiles and that was really perfect for the kind of objects that I'm drawn to in my still lives. These are miniature versions of car rugs. And my mom's family has been collecting these coasters for as long as I can remember. And I really like using them because, again, they have the diamond shape and then the textures, which you'll see on the paintings later. I actually carve this texture sometimes. The little bridge in there is a cribbage board, which is a card game I really love that my mom's family plays a lot. This is another example of wordplay where I have the bat included in the fall still life because bats and Halloween. And I had a lot of fun with this elephant too and all of his colors and patterns. I love uh, working with patterns and so a lot of what I do is find patterned objects and a lot of times they're textiles. It would be like a fantasy of mine to find a place where I could just buy grates from the sidewalk. It looks simple from a distance but once you start following the pattern it's a pretty complicated thing. These are little paintings I've done on paper and I was experimenting mostly with the so flat when I first got here. So this ground is just so flat and it, it's so smooth that it looks like it's just colored paper, which is really cool. I've been experimenting with oil paint here. I don't think I've ever used Williamsburg oil. It's kind of ironic that like my favorite acrylic brand brought me to oil. I think I've learned a lot here about how to balance between doing things you're familiar with and trying new things and even learning how to experiment, the idea of doing a test. Six years ago, this was my favorite brand to stock in the store. Now I get to meet the Golden family and go to the factory and really form a relationship with this brand that has been my favorite paint brand for the whole time I've been painting.